Hey, what's up everyone? So look at this, your boy got a little bit of a trim. <laughs> so today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can pass the strong integrity certification so that you can use your uh, banking apps, payment apps without any issues. And this is for Android 13 and above. So yeah, let's head over to our PC and then uh, see what we need to do. Okay, so to do this, your phone must be rooted and uh, this works on both Magisk and Kernel SU. So yeah head over to the link in the description down below and you will come to this page so yeah this is the guide how to pass strong integrity on android step by step guide this guide is done by Raja Sri Katova. thanks for the guide man so yeah this tutorial will help you successfully pass basic device and strong integrity checks in both legacy and new play integrity responses make sure to follow each step carefully so yeah step one remove old modules before starting remove any previously installed modules related to play integrity fix to avoid conflicts so yeah, if your custom ROM came with any uh, play integrity fix pre-installed, first you need to turn off that. Next, step two, download required components. So yeah, first up is the Zygisk module, choose one. And again, as you can see, re is recommended. So I'm gonna download that. So we will be taken to the GitHub page, head over to the releases page. And you need to click on the one which says release, click on that browse to where you want to store the file and then hit save you can close this tab next up is play integrity module choose one so play integrity fix is uh, taken down by the creator so we'll have to shift to play integrity fork so i'm going to open it in a new tab again same thing head over to the releases page scroll down click on the file name over here and the download will start once you have downloaded that you can close this tab and then these are the tricky tools so you need to download both of them so first up let's download the tricky store again head over to the releases page click on the file name over here and the download will start once you have downloaded that next we can move on to downloading tricky add-on update target list again same thing head over to the releases page scroll down click on the file name over here and the download is going to start Alright, so once you have downloaded everything, oh yeah, and this one, step 3 optional, install KSU Web UI. So you need to do this only if you are using Magisk and you need to install only one of the following. So you have KSU Web UI standalone and MMRL which is an alternative. And again, these are the uh, steps on how to do it. I'll walk you through all of them. So yeah, once you have downloaded all the files, you need to copy them over to your phone. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then shift over to the phone. Okay, so once you have copied all the files to your phone, you need to first go ahead and open your desired app. So if you are using Magisk, you will have a Magisk app. In my phone, I am running Kernel SU, so I have the Kernel SU app. And if I show you in the Play Integrity API Checker, as you can see, I am only getting the basic integrity certification. Only the basic integrity is checked. So some banking apps and payment apps won't work without these uh, two checks. So we are going to get them. So first, uh, open your desired app. So mine is Kernel SU. I am going to open that again. The steps are the same for Magisk and Kernel SU. So first up, head over to the modules tab. Select install. And then browse to where you have stored all the downloaded files. So mine is in the internal storage download folder. So first up, you need to install re -Zygisk. So I am going to tap on that. And it's going to start installing. And again, it's going to ask you to reboot the phone once it is done installing. Hit reboot and then wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, so once the phone is rebooted, you can go ahead and unlock it first. Alright, once the phone has rebooted, you need to again open your desired app. So my kernel is here, I'm gonna open that again. Head over to the modules page, select install. And this time install tricky store, not the tricky store add-on. First you need to install the one which says only tricky store. So I'm going to choose that. It's going to start installing. Again, it's going to ask me to reboot the phone. So I'm going to hit reboot. Wait for the phone to reboot. All right, once the phone has rebooted, again, unlock your phone. Go to the root app again, go to modules and this time we need to install tricky add-on. So just select that and it's going to install it. And again it's going to ask to reboot your phone. So again hit reboot. 
Man, that's a lot of reboots in one day. And once your phone has rebooted, unlock your phone again. Go to your desired root app again. Head over to the modules page, select install. And this time you need to select Play Integrity Fork which we downloaded over here. Just tap on it and it's gonna start installing that module. Again once it is installed you need to again hit reboot. It looks like this is the fourth reboot we are doing. And again once your phone has rebooted, unlock it, go to your phone's root app. And this time head over to the modules page and now we have installed all the modules so now we need to configure some stuff so below the tricky store name over here you can see there's a button called open so you need to select that and here you need to select the three lines over here on the top right corner you need to touch select all and again you need to open the menu again by touching the three lines and this time select deselect unnecessary just tap on that and this time again you need to hit on the three lines and then this time you need to select set valid key box so select that and once that is done you need to again head over to the three line menu over here and this time you need to select set security patch and then you need to click the get security patch date button over here give it a second and once that is done you need to press on save and then again here at the bottom press the save button once everything is saved you need to go back and then this time you need to press the action button which is under the plain integrity fork so i'm gonna press the action button give it a second And as you can see it says done closing dialog in 20 seconds you can close it now itself and now if we go to the play integrity api checker we should meet all the checks aha there we go all three are checked now you can easily use banking apps and payment apps you will not have any problems so yeah guys that is it for this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video